Carriages eventually lost out to automobiles. The Pattersons either had to change with the times or close their doors. So after 50 years in the carriage business, they made the shift to automobiles. The Patterson Greenfield automobile was introduced on September 23, 1915. It was offered as a, as a roadster or a touring car. It sold for as low as 685 for the roadster or up to 850 for the touring car. Production remained low, with only 30 to 150 cars built between 1915 and 1917. No Patterson Greenfield automobiles are known to have survived. The failure of the Patterson Greenfield resulted from several factors. Basically, Frederick entered the automobile field too late. That same year, Henry Ford produced his one millionth Model T, which sold for only $360. Large corporations such as Ford and General Motors were already dominating the industry. By October of 1915, one month after Frederick introduced his car, Detroit car makers were producing 1,800 cars each day. The Patterson Greenfield was not inferior to other makes. It just came too late to compete. Auto repair continued after discontinuing the Patterson Greenfield in 1917. This kept the company running while Frederick figured out what to do next. As always, Frederick figured it out and once again transitioned the company in a new direction. Follow along to the next video for more.